driver's seat, but you're not always driving alone. So in my opinion, it's also important that your passenger has a good experience. Indeed. I have driven this car a few times, but I've ridden in it a lot of times. And every single time, it's exhilarating, it's exciting, it's fast, it sounds great. And it's a BMW M5. Every time, it's fun. Personally, I think it's really cool when Parker will just randomly accelerate because it's pretty exhilarating every time you get pinned to your seat by the acceleration. <laughs> One thing I've noticed as a passenger in this car when I have friends drive is that it actually, cars tend to feel faster in the passenger yeah. seat because you do not expect the acceleration. You don't have anything to grip onto. Mm -hmm. I like that. What about ride comfort? How's the seat? And it's the... pretty good. Um, the seats are well bolstered, good support. I mean, I should probably raise my headrest, but there's ample leg room, ample head room. I don't feel cramped at all for being 6'3". The ride comfort is good. Michigan roads are horrible, and uh, most of the time it's not too bumpy. But it is an M5, so we have a sportier suspension. And if we're accelerating pretty hard, I can feel it. It is an older car, so one thing I do notice uh, when I'm in the passenger seat is that it does kind of rattle and maybe make some noise when you go over large Michigan potholes. Yes. But in California roads, you don't notice okay. it at all. Again, yeah, it is an E39. This is, uh, what, what year is this? This is 2001. 2001. It's almost 15 years old. We have, there are some little chips. There are cracks in the leather. It's not perfect. It's not brand new. It's experienced a lot of miles. But it's still a nice place to be in. Interior feels nice. When I first got in, I was kind of surprised that it's been, it's this old because I did not think this interior was that dated. This car is pretty quiet, and I'm not talking about the exhaust noise because that's loud and it sounds awesome. I am talking about wind noise, tire noise, just general road noise. Even when you're going pretty fast, it's not loud. You hear the exhaust when you downshift, when you accelerate, but it's not unpleasant. There's no just constant, just like buffering noise. Yeah, even when you're going uh, the speed limit, never above, uh, it always is quiet in this car. Yep. Something that comes with driving a high quality It's a refined vehicle. BMW. So Parker kicked me out of the passenger seat, so now I'm stuck back here. But despite being six foot three, I have ample leg room, plenty of headroom, and I am not cramped at all. Yeah, no, it's actually pretty good back there. Yeah. BMW cars have done nothing but get larger since 2001. So much so, it feels like the new 3 Series is as big, yeah. or maybe even bigger than this car. But even if you're a pretty tall, big kid, can fit in the back. Yep. Um, there's no problem for, you can fit four people in this car easily. You can even cram a fifth if they're short. Regarding the audio system, this car had the factory upgrade M audio with two subs in the back. I think it sounds pretty good. No, it's not up to par with 2014 sound systems. Yeah. But way more than decent. Something I really like is the, this car is really well equipped. You have dual zone climate control, heated seats, power seats. So even though it is pretty old, but still fine. Yeah, absolutely. One thing that also impresses people a lot is the automatic rear sunshade thing. The people, girls like that. Everyone likes it. <laughs> One of the big things I notice about riding in this car is the amount of attention you get. It is a loud car after the muffler delete. It sounds really cool. It looks cool. And when you're cruising around town like we often do, you get quite a few looks. People give you thumbs up. Now, driving a nice car is not for the sole purpose of getting attention. People that drive nice cars to do that have some other insecurity issues. But it is, it is nice to see other people appreciate the vehicle. As a passenger, it makes the day a little more exciting. You're on just a normal mm -hmm. drive and people are excited, makes yeah. you excited. Just kind of cool. It's a lot cooler to get a ride in an M5 to class than it is to ride the bus to class. Yeah, absolutely. Overall, I mean, I'm not a passenger often in this car, so maybe you can speak to it more. I think it has a uh, great passenger experience. Yep. It's comfortable, even though it's a sports car. Mm -hmm. It is an M5, not an M3. So it's got amenities. It's got legroom. It's nice. It's fun to ride in. It's really fun to drive, but enjoyment comes to the passenger also. Hope you like this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. And if you have any tips, cars you'd like to see us review, or videos in general, leave a comment below. We'll try to get on that. And if you could like us on Facebook.com, that would be excellent. Look forward to seeing you next time.